There's a lot of misconceptions about what exactly is a traumatic brain injury and what qualifies as a traumatic brain injury. So in this short video, I'm gonna go through what is a traumatic brain injury, how is it caused, and how do you recognize when you or as an attorney, your client has a traumatic brain injury. What is a traumatic brain injury? Well, it's what it sounds like, trauma to your brain. Now that can be caused either by direct impact to your head or what a lot of people don't know is that it can even be caused when there's not direct impact to your head. So a lot of times it's obvious if there's an impact to your head by an object or when you're in a car accident that perhaps you do have a head injury. But even in car accidents where you don't hit your head but you're moving back and forth that can cause a traumatic brain injury too. Your brain sits in basically fluid inside your skull. And so anytime you are rear-ended or there's a T-bone collision and your head moves front and back, your brain is actually sliding back and forth. And sometimes that can cause an injury to your brain as your brain crashes against your skull in any of those positions. One of the difficulties in proving a traumatic brain injury in motor vehicle collisions where there's not direct impact to your head um, comes from the fact that at first there aren't a lot of signs of a traumatic brain injury. A lot of people say, oh, well, if you didn't lose consciousness, then you didn't have a traumatic brain injury. But it's not always blacking out that qualifies as a traumatic brain injury. So even if you feel dazed or confused or lightheaded um, after a collision, that can still mean that you did have some loss of consciousness. Another reason sometimes it's hard to recognize traumatic brain injuries is because they don't show up on brain scans, like CT scans or MRIs. Normally, if it's a mild traumatic brain injury, like most are, like after you suffer a concussion, it won't show up. Your CT scan and MRI could be completely normal. But that doesn't mean that you haven't suffered a traumatic brain injury or even a permanent traumatic brain injury. So how do you recognize a traumatic brain injury as somebody who suffered one or as an attorney who is taking care of clients that may have suffered ones? Well, in the first day or week after the collision or the injury, uh, a person with a traumatic brain injury could be suffering from headaches, nausea, light sensitivity, ringing in the ears, sleep disturbance. All of those things could lead you to believe that the person suffered a traumatic brain injury. But it takes more than a year to determine whether the person has a permanent traumatic brain injury. So if you or as an attorney or client is still experiencing after a year headaches, fatigue, irritability, uh, problems with focus, memory problems, ringing in their ears, blurred vision, all of these can be signs that the person is suffering from a permanent traumatic brain injury. And so you need to make sure that they're worked up by a proper neurologist to see if that's the case. 